Welcome back, fellow Vikings! Are you ready to conquer England? I certainly am. As you can see, I am doing my bit to become one with the Viking part. I mean, if it allows me. Luckily, it's still pretty cold here. Even though it's like almost April, it's freezing in Turkey. If it was in the summer, I would be already dying. But roll the fancy intro and let's get into it. Welcome to Danish Dynamite, where we try to impose the Dane law on them bloody, bloody English scum, I was going to say. We are the Vikings. I am. Are you crazy? And I clearly am crazy if I'm wearing this malarkey, right? Apologies for doing this all the time. Like, the hair kind of goes into my mouth and uh, it's all a big mess. Uh, but you have to look the part if you want to conquer Linda's farm, etc. All that. And into that we go. Now, something I forgot to mention in the first video is that I added some uh, affiliate clubs to my, well, you know, old Southampton uh, team, uh, just to make sure that I would actually get Danish regions, new gens, whatever down the line, right? Uh, because I wasn't quite sure how the database would work. Like I said, I, I failed <laughs> once, and I'm, I'm making sure, right? Uh, so we added some Danish uh, <coughs> affiliate clubs, which is good as well. I can add some money to them as well. That, that's fine. I will say that, I had to check as well, but we are in fact located in Denmark, so that's why I also think that we actually did get, this is not a region, is there any regions? Yeah, our regions are actually are Danish, which is lovely, right? That makes the game a lot easier <laughs> down the line, otherwise it would be pretty silly. I will say that we had a few random uh, regions, like I think we had an Afghan one or something, which was pretty funny, and then of course a few English ones, probably because of the staff and all that, but uh, we uh, terminated them immediately because they don't fit our rules really down the line we might have to if, if we get an english five star or something we may have to try and make him danish i think that's possible right because he probably is danish has split nationality or something like that so but we'll see all that down the line there's a there's a quite a long way to go there speaking of down the line i may not even get to down the line because look at this bloody schedule from the start chelsea at home now right we're playing this today then we go away to Tottenham, then it's Liverpool, oh no, then United after Villa. Villa away as well, so pretty difficult, you would say. And like many people may say, oh, that's an easy one. Well, the problem is I don't really know how good our team is, right? Let's take a look at the squad. This is what we have to work with, right? By star rating, it's not overly amazing. And of course, we are hindered by the fact that, well, we only use Danish players. That's the whole point, right? But we don't, I don't really, I have no idea how we're going to fare. Uh, we could be absolute garbage, or we could be like, you know, just below, which I kind of think, just below, the, you know, the top four or five or six or whatever it is, right? I think we'll be in there, kind of, like seven, eight, nine, ten or something like that. But we, honestly, I have no idea. I did make two tiny signings, as you probably go by. I just went in and searched for some youngsters. So I basically bought uh, two young potential uh, talents. Who knows how they're going to figure out. But I also had to get rid of loads and loads of loads of dead work. We had way too many players. Uh, so I've loaned out most of the players. I did sell Yannick Vestigal, like I said, uh, in the first one. He's just not good enough. He's way too slow for what I <coughs> want to play. Uh, the rest, we've actually just loaned out. Because of how the challenge is going to... We're not going to need money, I think. Financially, we'll be, we will be fine for a very, very long time, right? So the problem I have is having Danish players. So I've just loaned most of the players out just so I, well, they're not going to play anyways, right? But we don't want to necessarily lose them because maybe they are actually the players that we need in a few years or something like that or next season or something. So for now, we've just loaned lots of players out, including Mr. Bentner. Sadly, we've loaned him out. Lord Bentner is no longer here. Well, he is in spirit. I mean, and look at his face. He looks so, so gangster there. He looks like he's about to pee on a police car, which apparently he does quite often. So. Yeah, he can do that in Hamburg, and they will probably love him for it. <clears throat> right, and that kind of leads us to our tactics. I don't know why it's not showing here on the left thing. I think I've gone back and forth too many times, so the game is a bit bugged, I think, because we're about to play a game, right? Um, but yeah, 4 2 3 one Gegenpress. Sounds boring, but there is some logic to the madness, and let's go over that logic, because if there's anything Danish players have an abundance of, it is work rate. I mean, take a look at our striker, for instance. 19 work rate, 16 teamwork, 
18 aggression, 18 bravery, right? He has 11 finishing. He's not a striker. But he's good at pressing. He's the epitome of pressing forward, right? So that's what we're going to use. Boon Larsen on the left, 16 work rate. Every, every player in the Danish team have amazing work rate. They may be rubbish, but at least they work hard and they are very determined. <laughs> it's the Danish Viking mentality. I may be crap, but I'm going to apply my absolute best and I'm going to try the hardest, which I kind of like. We might get wrecked all the time, but at least we will try hard. So yeah, that's pretty much the thinking, right? 4 2 3 one. Let's go to the Bears. Schmeichel, we already know. He's just world class. And Premier League standard, he's like one of the best and most underrated kind of keepers there. You know, he's not as flashy as Edison and Allison and all that, but he's just so good. And he proved it over so many years. No need to say anything about that. The core is where our strength is. Christensen and Kea in the middle, like defenders. I mean, they are just so good and experienced. Well, Kea is very, very experienced. You go up. You have Hoybia as the box-to-box, -box, right? Who's having an amazing season for Tottenham, my team. Uh, nothing more to say. And then you have Delaney, who's just an absolute beast. You could play the box-to-box -box as well, but I'm going to use him as the ball winning because 16 tackling. But do you see the, the, the theme here? Work rate, teamwork, bravery. So darn good, right? Then you have the bit of an anomaly, Ericsson. Now, he doesn't have, <laughs> he doesn't have work rate. But what he does have is charisma, no. What he actually does have is he's just the creative maestro that's literally going to bind this team together. We're going to have hard workers everywhere, and then Ericsson is going to sit here as the attacking midfielder on attack, and he's just going to maneuver this whole team. Give him the ball, create chances from him. That's all you need to do. He is uh, our stationary Messi in the middle, right? And then, of course, Paulson up front. Just work hard. Hope that he hits the target in... One out of ten, and we actually score goals from him. I'm not hopeful, but you never know. Now, here's where the problems kind of lie, also in real life for Denmark. First of all, the left back. Now, I've gone for Dumizi, who's not a very good left back. He's not a very good winger either, for that matter. But he's like an attacking option, right? Same with Vess on the right. Very well-rounded, at least, Vess, and he loves attacking. So I've gone with two very, very offensive uh, backs just sit there full back attack bomb forward the problem is we don't really have many <laughs> good full backs i mean denmark in real life has been playing a bloody right back and left back for i don't know six years or something it's it's silly we don't have left backs so they don't exist in denmark apparently so that's a bit of a problem but yeah going with Dumizi on that one which is probably our weak side uh, in front of him though born larsen good work rate good off the ball and he has potential he can be a very very good left winger uh, and, and inverted on this one, which is absolutely essential for the way I want to play. Same goes for the right side. We have Robert Skull, who's 24. Imagine if this was like 20, if he was 22 years old, like he would be very, very, very good in terms of uh, potential. I still think he has a bit of potential to go. Uh, but yeah, just very, very well rounded and good long shots, I just noticed. But yeah, inverted wingers on both flanks because then our. Uh, fullbacks are going to bomb forward. As soon as we have the chance, we're just going to charge at them. We're going to... Ah! And we're going to stick them in it. And we're going to fight them with swords and shields and all sorts. Win the ball back and then charge. That's what we're going to do. Because that's literally all we can do. Win the ball. And then, of course, we have players like, you know, Braithwaite on the bench. We have uh, Philip Billing as well. You, know, you see the, the common theme here. Work rate. Not particularly great players any of them by any imagination right but they have good work rate and they do their job Dolba is maybe one of the exceptions like he was he's a bit of a technical player but mm, in this beginning especially with the schedule we have i'm gonna stick with use poles up front because i want the hard working pressing forward to do its thing then maybe versus lesser teams we can put on Dolba, who's a bit more of a goal scorer a goal creator and stuff and play him as an advanced forward rather than the pressing forward of course we have the old uh wonder boy Hall of Famer, I guess, Pione Sisto, who's not really developed into that great of a player, right? But he's there in spirit. Same again, creative maestro. If if versus the uh, lower rated teams, we need a bit more creativity. We need to create goals. Then we can put these people on. Jonas Mele, just a good, <laughs> I say good, just an option at right back. But again, work rate. At least they work hard. They know that they're crap, so they just work extra hard, which I kind of like. Joachim Anderson, who is a bit of a great player, at least in real life, but 
has a bit to be desired in this one. Again, if he was 22, this lad would probably be really, really good, right? So well-rounded as well. He can apparently develop a little bit, but I'm not sure he will. But we will see. I mean, and Kea is not getting any younger, right? He's 31, and he turns 32 fairly soon. But so far, so good, right? And he's a he's a commanding center back, whatever that means. But yeah, I'm very happy with them so far. <laughs> and then yeah, our squad, like I said, was just way too big. So in the beginning, I have no idea what to expect, right? I'm gonna have to try and find my my desired 11. I have my core, like my core is very, very good. Ericsson, Delaney, Hoybeer, Kestis, and Kea, and Smeichel, of course. There's no one is gonna steal any of them spots to anytime soon, right? It's the wide areas and then the striking area where there's a bit of twinkering, tinkering able to be done. English words, difficult. So I guess the first month or something, maybe everything is gonna be changed, right? But this is the idea I'm going with. And yeah. But I don't know what to expect, which I guess is the beauty of it, right? Uh, beauty of this save is I have absolutely no idea. But let's try it out. All this admin, let's actually get into the very, very first game. First game is versus Chelsea, so it's going to be difficult. But at least we are home in Denmark, so maybe they are seasick if they take the ferry or, I don't know, jet lag or something. So let's get into it. Right, it's kickoff time. Oh. I am very, very excited as I probably have to. Uh, let's see. What are the speeds all right? Uh, I don't know. Let's just let's just get on the way, right? Oh, uh, and of course we lose the ball immediately. So yeah, I'm 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 a bit worried. Uh, yeah, playing versus Chelsea is not the ideal start you want, right? But let's see how we get on. I may get sacked after a month, but I mean that would maybe be funny as well. But I don't think so, right? Christian Eriksen, how you We need. Good performances, well, from everyone, if we're gonna... Not like that, right? Okay, we recycle the ball. That is some lovely, lovely football. Oh, my lord! We take the lead after less than a minute. And that was some lovely, lovely passing in the midfield there. Holy moly. Let's see this, like, first touch football here. So, Vest to Hoibia, to Eriksson, to Skoll, to Hoibia. And then Hoibia just launches it forward. And Boon Larsen just tucks it in. Yay! Get wrecked! Oh no, there's immediately a highlight, so... Did, did I... Is it on... It is on key highlights. Okay, okay, okay. I was very worried there. Um, well, it seems like we just won the ball. But, oh, we, look at them passing there. I mean, I'm playing Gegenpress. I, I thought... Are we playing... Are we playing Tiki Taka for a moment there? Vas? Okay. Okay, now... Oh, this is not good, because... Yeah, Chelsea are pretty much playing the same, right? They're playing a bit of a high... Oh, that tackle there. But Skulls definitely should have won the ball. Pulisic to Jorginho. No! Ooh, great save from Schmeichel. Like, we're playing a bit risky in the sense that we are pressing so high up, right? And we just want to get bomb forward immediately. So, of course, that's going to... Especially versus a team like Chelsea that are pretty much doing trying to do the same thing, right? So, if we lose the ball up here, it's going to turn into... Whoa! But we don't! Delaney with the goal! Assist from <coughs> Lisa Dormisi. Beautiful Danish name, by the way. Uh, yeah. This is going well beyond expectation. Delaney, he kind of starts it himself. Bit of a 1-2, and then he just finishes it off with his left foot. Nice. Mendy could probably have done better there, but... Oh, just noticed Jack Silva is off, but yeah. Wow, this is... Uh, this is very surprising. Um, might be winning, lads, but don't get the performances dropped. That's right. There's more gold to be had. We need to steal all the gold from these silly monks. Um, but yeah, we seem to be... Oh, I say that. That is that is silly. We don't want to be losing the ball like that. Sayek, come on. Oof. Oof. We seem to be kind of dominating the stats-wise, right? Um, but yeah, we are at home, so it's, 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 you, you fancy our chances, right? Okay, nice possession there by Paulson. And he's, is he going to do it all alone? Just don't let him finish at least, that's good. If he can do like this, that's... What? Was that a penalty or something? Okay, nice and easy, do a Messi again. Bombing forward, look at that. I'm just so worried when they do those passes. Okay. Oh, beautiful, one touch foot mark, and then pulls and misses! What are you doing? No! That's what happens when you have 11 finishing. Oh my god, what a beautiful, beautiful move, and then he does that. Oh my... Hang on a minute, that was... 
beautiful. Holy moly. Right. Well, Chelsea are now, I guess, bless them, trying a little bit. Defending the British honor. Oh, but we win it back. Let's go to Kristensen. Launch it forward. He wants it. Yeah, Paulson. Okay, nice hold up play. This is what we want to see. I mean, I didn't envision us playing one touch football in the midfield, but hang on. Oh, Paulson. Yes, that's what he's there for. Assists. Assists he's a god of, right? As long as he doesn't finish himself. And Boone Larson gets it second. This is. Wow, this is exciting. I am. I did not expect us to play this well, as in this pretty football. Ericsson with the header, and then Paulson with the header as well. Like, what? It's like heading Tiki Taka. Is that even a thing? I think we just invented a new playstyle. As I'm gonna do a change. I mean, Paulson has. <sighs> I guess he's been in there. Let's put Braithwaite up front. I think he's also. Yeah, let's let's stick with the pressing forward for now. This is Chelsea, right? It's a difficult matchup. So let's not go too ham. And oh Hudson Adoy just skims his man. Come on, just shoot from there or something. Oh, great tackle, but they win it back. No, never mind. Oh, yeah, Paulson on to no one. That's I mean that's not entirely his fault. Oh, and he hold good hold up play this time to Skull. Boon Larsen, is he gonna get a hat trick? Skull. Crosses it in. Boon Larsen, there he is, but Delaney? Mendy finally actually makes a save. Good job, lad, I guess. <laughs> I shouldn't be praising him. He's the opposition is also done. Ericsson with the corner. Okay, nice and easy. Nice and easy. Let us do... I noticed that Mr. Delaney is sadly struggling a little bit. Do we have anyone to put on? Actually, we have Billing. What does he prefer, though? Let's just stick him as deep line playmaker and defend, yeah. Of course, I have them, all the players preset. And I can't really remember what I preset them for. It's been so long since I actually started this play. But okay, more more players are now getting knackered. So I'm gonna do one more change as well. Well, let's go. It's done. It's done all right. So mm, we don't really have. God damn it! I'm gonna put Sisto out there anyways. Inverted winger. Does he like that? Yeah. Why not? Isn't he a right-footed though? He is. So why is he inverted winger? He should just be winger on support. Let's do that. And let's see this match out. Come on, lads. Focus. 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 Oh, no, 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 Jorginho, I mean, surely, what, okay, nice work, and Braithinho, he's in, he's in, is he gonna, no, 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 he doesn't finish either, nah, to be fair, that was a pretty difficult angle, right, but, if it was Mbappe, or, you know, someone, he would have just dribbled past the defender, and then smashed it in, but, no, 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 whoa, 3-0, what a great performance, we had 17 shots, 9 on target, they only had 11 and 5 on target, Thiago Silva did go randomly go off in the 19 minutes with an injury, which is, you know, a shame, but... Wow. Holy moly. That was incredible, lads. I'm proud of you. Yes, I certainly am. Very proud indeed. And there you have it. Oh, we are even top of the league. I mean, Aston Villa and City are still yet to play, and City will probably win 10-0, so they will probably be top of the league, but... Wow, what a start to the campaign. This is so exciting. I've... I've had to take a break from actually playing this thing for so long, like months, three months, I think. And now I finally have the time to get stuck in again. And this is so exciting already. That match was beautiful. But I, I want to see that again. Right, I really want to see that chance again because this was absolutely beautiful. Let's we have slow it down. I found it. Okay, do me see. Look at the touch, one touch football. Okay, Delaney starts it off, right? But take a look at Hoybia with his heel, right? Boom! To Paulson, then Eriksson, Bunasen, instead of shooting there, which he probably should have done, he lays it off to Paulson, who then misses horribly. That's what 11 finishing does to you. But wow, what a build up. I'm so surprised. I thought we would be playing shockingly bad and that we may scrape wins here and there, but this was beautiful. Wow. Uh, let's actually see the preview, for instance. So we're. Pre we're Period to finish literally in the middle, 10th. It's not too bad. Of course, we don't have any players in there. Do we have any? Surely Christian Eriksson is there, and then Kasper Schmeichel, yeah. That's very, that's to be expected, right? But holy moly, we played some lovely football there. Wow, I am so excited to play on now. Oh, I'm just going to play forever. I'm never leaving this seat. So I hope you enjoyed that episode, because that was amazing, and we played some lovely football. And I hope you want to follow the English raid of, uh, no, sorry, the Danish Viking raid of England. Um, and yeah, 
until next time, I mean, don't forget to subscribe and like and all that so we can get this Viking conquest out to everyone on YouTube one day, hopefully. So, yeah, until next time, Viking au revoir. No?